Hi, George here, and today I'll be showing you how to fix a broken resource pack. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and you're enjoying them, if you want to help me make more videos here on YouTube, then the best thing you can do is to hit that subscribe button. Right now I'm at 76,000 subscribers. If I hit 100,000, I get that silver play button right back there, and I'll be able to do a lot more videos. I'll be able to put more time into doing this channel. So I'll give you a moment now to hit that subscribe button. Only takes just a second and it's totally free. Okay. Let's take a look at how you can fix a broken resource pack. Now, first, the bad news, if you're doing a downloaded pack, there's a good chance that you will not be able to fix it. Let me show you that. So if you went over to a place like this, this is Planet Minecraft, and you downloaded a pack from here, you may have downloaded a pack that's too old to work. So the first thing to check is to look at your version of Minecraft, and then check the version for the pack that you're downloading. This is for 189. Right now I'm playing 1.21, and this will definitely not work in 121. So make sure that your pack is compatible with your version of Minecraft. If your pack is too recent, let's say you're playing an online version of Minecraft, maybe you're using T Launcher or something and you have an old version like this, and you download a new resource pack, same problem. It's not going to work. So the pack version has to match the version of Minecraft that you're playing. Very important. Now, if it's a relatively new pack, this is for 120.6. Right now, again, I'm in 121.4. So I might try to fix this pack. This may work, it may be close enough. The problem is every single time that Minecraft updates their program, it may change some of the basic programming in Minecraft. And if they do, it's quite possible that it's just no longer going to run for you. So we'll check a few of those things as we go here. All right, let's go back over to my base. There we go. And the next thing I wanna take a look at is the actual resource pack. So we'll switch over to my desktop and look at a sample pack and talk about a few things that can go wrong there. Okay, here we are on my desktop. And here's the pack for the last video I did. I was showing how to do multiple sounds for the totem. And this is saved as a zip file. Now, one thing to check, if you don't see your extensions like this says zip, this is .mp3, this is .png, pack here is .mcmeta. If you're not seeing that extension, then go up here to view, I'm in Windows 11 right now, come down to show, and go over here, it says file name extensions. Make sure that's checked so you see those. You have to see those when you're making your pack. If you're working in Windows 10, you can go up to the top of the window, click on the View tab, and over on the right-hand side, put a check next to file name extensions. It does the same thing. Notice how the pack here is saved as a .zip. Very, very important, it has to be .zip. Now, a lot of people use WinRAR, and it will end up saying .rar at the end, we don't want that. Let me show you how you can fix it. I'll bring up WinRAR here. Here we go. So here's the exact same folder. There's that totem sounds. So if I was going to be saving this in WinRAR, you want the assets, hold the control key down. You want that pack MC meta and you want the pack PNG. You want those three things. Right click in this add files to archive or alt plus the A key. And it brings up this window right here where you put your name in and so forth. And notice that this says RAR. What you want to do is come down here where it says archive format and hit that zip option right there. Then go ahead and save it. That's going to fix that for you. Choose OK. Now it says pack.zip. Let's go back over here again. There it is, pack.zip. That's fine. Now something else in here. Notice that this is an uppercase letter here, pack.zip. This is practically the only place where you can use a capital letter. If you have capital letters any place else in here, it's not going to work for you. You can't have capital on your folder names. If you go inside of here, you can't have a capital over here. You're looking at your items. Here's the totems. You can't have capital letters anywhere in here. So nothing inside of the pack folders or pack file names can have capitals in them. If we go inside of this and you're working inside the sounds.json file, again, notice that these are all lowercase in here. So make sure that everything is lowercase and no capital letters. The only place where you can use a capital letter, aside from the name of the zip file, this is the pack.mc meta file. Go back here, that's that file right there. In this file, in the description here, in other words, the name, in the name right here, inside of those quotes, you can use capital letters right here, but no place else. The next thing you want to check is your pack format. And this again is inside that pack.mc meta. And that's right here. This is pack format 46. This is for version 1.21.4. So it has to be 46. When the next version of Minecraft comes out, this is going to change. It changes every single version. Now, if you're using a different version up here, let's say you're in 120 or you're in 1.8.9, which is real popular on a lot of online servers, then the pack format is going to be a different number. Let me show you where you can find out what that number is. 
I have that information on my website. And also, if you have a vanilla resource pack, it's not going to include the pack.mc meta. You need this file. Go to the same place, you can get the pack.mc meta as a download. Let me bring that up for you. And it's right here. This is the website I have just for this channel. Nothing else is on here. It's just for this channel. Go over here where it says important pages and Minecraft pack MC meta. Here we go. I always have the most current coding right there. We can just copy that if you want to do it that way or even easier. Go down here and I have that pack in a zip. Just download the zip and open it up. So let's say you're working in 120.4 right here. It's pack format 22. You're working in that real early 8.9, way down at the bottom down here, 189. That was pack format one. So you can see what the pack format is right here from this list. And all of these are zipped MC meta files. So you can just download the file right from here if you want to. Easy to do. Just click on that and download that file. I'll just choose save. There we go. Let's close this down. It's just a zip file with the pack MC meta inside. I'll open this thing up in a new window so you can see that. There's a pack MC meta right there. So I have all those on my website and I keep that up to date. So when a new one comes out, I'll put that right up. I like editing the pack MC meta in Notepad++. It's a free download. Let me show you that website. And it's right here, notepadplus.org, downloads. And just go for the top one right here, the latest version, and you'll be fine. The nice thing about Notepad++ is it's really easy to use and it's not going to be messing up your code. It is a code editor, so your code stays clean. I know a lot of people like to edit pack.mc meta inside of Notepad, but there is one problem with that. Let me show you that real fast or bring Notepad up. And the problem with this is it's going to save it in the wrong format. So to fix that, go over here to File, come down to Save As, and in here, come down to the bottom where it says Encoding, and change the encoding down here to ANSI, A-N-S-I. You have to do that or it's not going to work for you. So make sure that you change the encoding to ANSI. Very important. You can then save that and it's going to work out just fine for you. You don't have to do that with Notepad++, it's automatic, but you do have to do that here in the regular Notepad. Okay, something else to check is to look at your folders in here. Make sure that you have the right folders. You can see them right across the top up here. That's my working area, my pack right here. If I go inside the folders in here, everything has an assets folder, everything has a Minecraft folder, and then after that, What's in here is going to depend upon what kind of pack you're making. Most of the time, the folder in here is going to be saying textures. And once you get past textures, it could be block, it could be item, it could be whatever in here, it could be entity. So make sure that your folders are correct and make sure that they are all lowercase, just like these are right there. What I found most of the time is that it's going to be a real small something which is messing you up. Maybe you're missing a period in one of the names in here. You have a capital letter someplace. If you're inside the pack MC meta, you have an extra comma or something in there. It'll easily be something small or you have something spelled wrong. So make sure you check your spelling very carefully. Everything has to be spelled exactly the same as the original or it's not going to work. So double check your spelling really, really carefully. It's easy to miss a spelling error. Something else I want to mention here is the MP3 conversion. You have to convert MP3 files over to ogfiles.ogg. Now you can't come in here and just change the name, just type over it like this, OGG, that's not gonna work inside of Minecraft. Let's put that back to MP3. What you have to do is to convert these in a good sound editor. My favorite one is Audacity. It's a download for the desktop, and it's real fast and easy. Let me show you that. Here's Audacity. And again, I'll just drag and drop this in. There we go. All you have to do with Audacity to convert this is go up here to File, come down to Export Audio, set this at an OG file, there we go. Og Vorbis files. Make sure you save it into the right location and also convert this to mono. All the sounds inside of Minecraft are mono sounds. Make sure you do that or it's not going to work properly for you. You may also want to convert the sound over here to 48,000 hertz. This is the default sound sample rate inside of Minecraft. It's not that critical, but if you want to be, have everything perfect, you go ahead and just do that. Then choose export. Now, if you don't want to be using a downloaded app like this one, even though, again, this is also free, let me show you where I can find that real quick. And it's right here at audacityteam.org. Just click on download without Muse Hub right there. That's the one that you want. That's your link right there. If you want to do this online, there's also a good online converter. Let me show you that one. It's right here at convertio.co. Simply click on choose files. Brings up a window like this. 
find your file. I'll use this one right here. Choose open. Now this is not going to automatically convert this over into a mono file. Let's go over here to output format and output to OGG. Click on settings right here. Come down where it says audio channels and set this for mono right there. Okay. And now you can go ahead and convert this file online. Click on convert. This goes pretty fast. Not as fast as Audacity, but it's not bad. You can see that was all it took. And then choose download. If you get all that stuff right, the pack should work. Like right behind me back here, that whole thing is made with a resource pack. It's not one big huge graphic. That's a whole bunch of little paintings that are on here with a resource pack. And if the pack isn't working, I spot it real fast because that thing doesn't work. Let's just do that real quickly here. Hit the escape key, go into options, come down to resource packs. If your pack is over here left hand side and you're seeing it in red, that tells you that the pack is in the wrong format for your version of Minecraft. That's that format number inside of pack.mc meta. So make sure that that's correct. I'll go over here right hand side. This is the one that I have that has those paintings in there for that large play button. Let me just take that out, choose done. And you see all my colors will have gone away here in a second. Then again, back to game. And there we go. That's what it looks like without that resource pack. This is one of my tests. Whenever I go into the game, I take a fast look at that. If it's fine, I know that the pack.mc meta hasn't changed in the game. Notice also that my sword has changed now over to a standard sword and not to my lightsaber. Okay, let's change that back again. Escape key, options, resource packs. Let's bring that back over. There we go. So also make sure that your pack is loaded over here right-hand side. If it's over here left-hand side, it's not going to be working. You have to hit that arrow, bring it over here right-hand side, and then you should be okay. One more thing about these, the packs load from the bottom to the top. Anything on top is going to be overwriting anything that's underneath. So my normal painting styles are down here where it says default, and I'm copying over those with my pack up here, which is up on top. And it's possible to take your pack and change the position that it's in just like this. So make sure that your pack is at the top of the stack. And it's those little arrows right in there, up and down arrows right in there. Okay, choose done and done, back to game. And my pack is installed again. There we go. Okay, and don't forget, if you want to see more Minecraft videos, I can do a whole lot more. I just need the time for that. And I can get the time for that if you subscribe to my channel right now. I'll just take a second right here, give you a chance to hit that subscribe button. It's right there, bottom right-hand corner of the video screen. Just hit that and subscribe. Once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I can do a lot more videos here on Minecraft. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.